Hey everybody, my name is Koen Wilts from the Fellowship of Acoustics and this video is pre-recorded so at the time you're watching this video we are on the NAMM show so if there's anything that we need to check out uh, please leave it in the comments down below and we'll make sure that we check it out for you. Um, now it's time for the special moment of the week. It's time for your rifles and there are five beautiful pieces here again so let's not wait too long and kick off with the first one. So the first one off is one from our friend from the Czech Republic. It's from Jan Storvacek. Uh, from BSG guitars and he makes beautiful guitars. So Jan is an expert on combining tone woods with really special inlays and fitting it all together. Um, and that's at a really reasonable price. So this is a full handmade guitar with spruce top, Amazon rosewood back and sides. I mean look at the inlays here for instance. So the, the, the wood binding goes along the neck so everything fits together. Um, the same I think it's olive, what he uses here is brought back here on the fingerboard inlay and of course the super chic, all done by hand, um, bindings around the headstock makes this guitar a dream for a finger picker. <laughs> Next one up, we just couldn't resist not to put a new rifles because every time we get one in used, it's uh, it's gone in a minute. And it's this beautiful SP6 from Fano. And I think one of the reasons is because a lot of people who work here bought a Fano over the years, and everybody fell in love with them. So the SP6 is kind of a crossbreed. It's a bit of a Les Paul special. It's a bit of a Telecaster, and I think that's what works on this guitar. So we got the Fred and pickups here, beautiful relic finish. Of course the sonic blue and everything fits together on this one. Next one up is a very nice guitar from PRS and it's one of my favorite body shapes from PRS. It's the 594. Um, what I really like about the 594, this one is a beautiful cobalt blue by the way, is the way how they made the configuration combined with a little shorter scale. So the little shorter scale makes it feel really alive. Um, so in the past PRS had a bit of a feeling of a dentist guitar but with this one it's not at all. And then on top of that you have these coil splits so you can make endless variations with a very simple configuration. Next one up is really interesting as well. If you've been watching the show a couple of weeks back, we had this bourgeois with a beautiful Koa set, and it was not a, a unique set. I think they got a badge with all these very nice Koa sets, and they used it on a different one. So this is also one of my favorite body shapes. It's the OMS from bourgeois. So the OMS is quite interesting. It's uh, it's kind of a triple O twelve fret, but slightly larger and slightly deeper. So you have a lot of bass, and that already combined with the bass response on a 12 fret. This gives a super rich and super loud sound and that on a very small bodied guitar. So you can just put this next to your couch and you have actually quite a bit of volume. So now it's time for the Mouman Supreme. It's not just the top, even though the other one is beautiful. It's this beautiful Koa set. So you have this really wide flame. So if you move it in the light, you really see it moving. And then you have the set boot in the middle. It also comes back on the back and side. So it's beautifully matched as well makes this just a, a dream to watch. And sound wise, it's very nice too because you get these overtones on the treble side but also on the bass side, it's really deep and really, uh, uh, really clear. So you get this super nice detailed tone.
next one up is one for the blues lovers, one for the Gibson lovers, uh, and one for the vintage lovers. It's a beautiful Gibson L00 1939. Um, in actually quite a good shape. Yes, she had some wear and tear over the years, and I love the patina. I mean, take a look at these looks. But overall, she only has maybe a few cracks, but all is well repaired. Playability is still good. Late 30s, so thick neck. And this is a blues lover. Uh, because everybody who plays the blues, you get this really dry, woody tone in this guitar. And that's exactly what you want. So there's no deep bass, there's no high treble. It's just that really nice MIDI sound that, uh, that everybody hears on the recording of these old blues records. <laughs> for this show. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. As always, let us know which one is your favorite and what we need to watch on the NAMM show. Uh, we hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>